The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is mankind's most recent enormous eye, connecting across unbelievable distances and capturing light that has traveled for more than 13 billion years. This light, however, tells us something beyond the story of time. It reveals the evolution of our universe, shaped and expanded by its ongoing extension. As we peer back at the most distant galaxies, we're essentially seeing an ancient era moving closer and closer to the commencement of the universe. The Big Bang The Big Bang theory, a cornerstone of modern cosmology, strikingly suggests that our universe had a distinct beginning and is finite in age. Yet, from its inception, this cosmic origin story has been met with skepticism, and challenges to its validity persist even within mainstream cosmology. For decades, the Big Bang theory held strong, especially after the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, in the 1960s. This background radiation, a faint, universal hum across the universe, aligned perfectly with predictions of a hot, dense early universe. However, remarkable observations by the JWST have recently cast doubt and raised new questions about the Big Bang's authenticity. Through the stunning clarity of the JWST NASA's cosmic time machine, we've seen clusters of ancient galaxies far larger and more numerous than expected, challenging our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the telescope peers back to when the first galaxies formed, it offers humanity an unparalleled view one that the Hubble telescope couldn't fully capture. Hubble was simply not sensitive enough to detect the faint, red-shifted light of these earliest galaxies. Yet, with the JWST's advanced capabilities, we are looking as far back as possible, nearly to the dawn of time itself. As we venture into this unknown territory, we encounter a long-standing mystery. How did the first galaxies truly form? And does the universe as we know it really have a single, definitive beginning. The earliest universe was a hot, dark spot so dense that light itself couldn't freely travel. This means that no matter how powerful our telescopes are, we cannot observe any further back using light alone. However, we are not limited to light. New technological advancements are paving the way for the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, which could serve as a new avenue to peer back into the universe's infancy, perhaps even into the very singularity we call the Big Bang. The origins of the Big Bang theory and the skepticism surrounding it stretch back to the 1920s and 1930s when astronomers first observed that distant galaxies appeared to be receding from us. This discovery, combined with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang model. Einstein's equations predicted that a static universe would be unstable, requiring either contraction or expansion. Observing this expansion suggested that galaxies must have been closer together in the distant past, implying a cataclysmic beginning for the universe. The universe's expansion has several significant implications. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light emitted from them stretches, shifting to longer wavelengths over time. Since wavelength corresponds to energy, with shorter wavelengths being more energetic, this redshifting means the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this cosmic expansion, we reach a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms couldn't exist, leading to a uniform searing glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson accidentally discovered the cosmic microwave background, a pervasive radiation field faintly echoing the universe's fiery beginning. Yet, as the JWST pushes the boundaries of cosmic observation, Scientists are discovering features in the early universe that strain the traditional Big Bang narrative. We see massive, luminous galaxies where there should be none, clustering in ways that defy expectations. So, if the Big Bang theory alone doesn't explain these anomalies, what else might? At the heart of the Big Bang theory lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where space and time supposedly began. But this concept, while powerful, has its limits. Imagine trying to describe the entirety of existence compressed into an infinitely dense point. This is where our understanding hits a wall. Although many aspects of the Big Bang model have been supported by observations and laboratory experiments, this initial singularity remains an enigma, prompting the question, could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? In its quest to understand the universe, Science has found ways to replicate similar conditions. Quark-gluon plasma, for example, 
has been created in labs, and matter-antimatter pairs have been produced to align with early universe predictions. Through these experiments and by analyzing fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, we have a well-supported picture of the universe's development. Yet, significant mysteries remain. For instance, if all regions of space were once compressed into a single point, why do we observe such uniformity in the universe's temperature? By conventional models, regions of space should exhibit varied temperatures, as they couldn't have had time to exchange energy or information. Additionally, we might expect to find remnants of the hottest eras, such as magnetic monopoles or spatial irregularities, but none have been observed. These discrepancies open the door to alternative possibilities. Either the universe inherently had these favorable properties from the start, or there was some mechanism that imposed these conditions. One candidate explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion hypothesized to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed a revolutionary idea. He theorized that before the hot Big Bang, the universe underwent exponential expansion. This inflationary phase could explain why the universe appears flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. After inflation, the universe would transition into the hot, dense state associated with the Big Bang, setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. However, as scientists now recognize, even cosmic inflation doesn't resolve every inconsistency. For example, groundbreaking observations by the JWST have revealed surprisingly massive galaxies from the universe's infancy, suggesting an accelerated formation rate that inflation alone doesn't explain. The JWST's incredible capabilities are reshaping our understanding of the universe's earliest stages and challenging long-held theories about its origins. Offer mankind an exceptional look into the universe. This $10 billion infrared telescope has captured stunning pictures of the early universe, uncovering a variety of enormous, glowing systems from when the universe was just a negligible fraction of its current age. While astronomers previously believed they had a strong understanding of how matter coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies, the JWST's discoveries suggest a much more rapid development than anticipated. These observations have sparked excitement and caution among scientists. Some theorists are compelled to revisit fundamental assumptions about cosmic evolution. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, massive galaxies observed within the first 500 million years of cosmic history defy existing models. The JWST's preliminary findings indicate that galaxies in this early epoch might be far more massive and numerous than previously thought, potentially housing masses comparable to today's large galaxies like the Milky Way. This rapid growth challenges current cosmological models, which suggest that such massive galaxies wouldn't form until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies may be growing more aggressively than expected, prompting the possibility of new theoretical frameworks for cosmic evolution. Dark matter, an invisible and mysterious substance thought to comprise about 85% of the universe's mass, shapes the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Conventional cosmology suggests that galaxies form within massive halos of dark matter, which gravitationally attract ordinary matter, enabling stars and galaxies to coalesce. However, JWST observations challenge this model, as galaxies appear to be forming in ways that defy our understanding of dark matter distribution. The presence of dark energy, an equally enigmatic force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion, further complicates the picture. Some models propose that early dark energy, a temporary boost in dark energy density, might have accelerated cosmic evolution, aligning with JWST findings. However, such modifications must integrate with the broader framework of the standard cosmological model, which has successfully explained large-scale cosmic evolution. While the Big Bang theory remains the prevailing explanation for the universe's origins, it is not the only perspective. Several alternative hypotheses offer unique insights. The steady-state theory. Unlike the Big Bang, it posits a universe without a beginning, where matter continuously appears as the universe expands. However, it fails to account for the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory. This speculative idea suggests that two universes were born in the Big Bang, 
one moving forward in time and the other backward. This twin universe would evolve in reverse, providing a mirror image of our cosmic history. The simulation hypothesis. This raises the possibility that our universe is a simulation created by an advanced civilization. Quantum entanglement and the peculiar nature of space-time lend conceptual weight to this idea, though it remains unprovable. The multiverse hypothesis. A popular alternative, it proposes an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws. In this model, dark energy fluctuations trigger numerous Big Bang-like events, creating a vast multiverse. Each of these theories offers unique perspectives on cosmic origins, raising new questions about the nature of space-time and matter. While the Big Bang theory remains dominant, it has been challenged and reshaped by new evidence and perspectives. The JWST, with its unmatched sensitivity, is poised to unlock even more secrets of the universe. As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming discoveries may revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, offering a richer, more nuanced narrative of the universe's origins. Ultimately, no single theory can fully explain the complexity of the universe's birth. The quest to understand our cosmic beginnings is ongoing. As we delve further into the unknown, we uncover mysteries that challenge our understanding of reality itself. The James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented journey through the universe brings us closer to answering fundamental questions about its origins. Its ability to peer deeper into the past, closer to the moment of the universe's birth, offers unparalleled opportunities to test and refine our cosmological models. Yet, as we unravel the earliest moments of cosmic history, we also confront the possibility that some of our most fundamental assumptions may be incorrect or incomplete. One of the most profound questions that endures is whether the Big Bang represents the true beginning of the universe or whether something preceded it. This question is not merely academic. It speaks to the very nature of existence. Theoretical physicists have long wrestled with the concept of cosmic time, pondering whether time itself began with the Big Bang or if it is part of a cyclical or infinite process. Ideas such as the cyclic model, which suggests that the universe undergoes cosmic cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, challenge the notion of a single linear starting point. Alternatively, there is the idea of a pre-Big Bang state, a period before the conventional Big Bang when the universe might have existed in a radically different form. Some theories propose that our universe could be part of a larger multiverse, with other universes arising through different mechanisms. In this context, the Big Bang could merely be one of many birth events occurring across a vast and complex multiverse. Quantum mechanics might hold the key to unraveling the true nature of the universe's origins. The concept of quantum fluctuations, where particles spontaneously appear and disappear, suggests that the universe may have emerged from a quantum vacuum, a state where nothing existed in the classical sense, but where quantum fields and possibilities permeated space. This idea aligns with the quantum cosmology model which posits that the universe arose from a quantum state of pure potential, bypassing the need for a classical beginning. It also raises intriguing possibilities about the role of quantum gravity and the potential for a grand unifying theory that could merge quantum mechanics with general relativity, offering a more comprehensive view of the universe. However, these ideas are not yet fully supported by empirical evidence, and their validity remains an open question. The challenges of testing these theories are immense, but the JWST is undoubtedly making strides in gathering the data that could reshape our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. By identifying the most distant galaxies, the telescope is essentially exploring a time when the universe was young and chaotic, with the first stars and galaxies emerging from the cosmic fog. What happens next may drastically alter our view of the universe, or it may simply deepen the mystery. The technical challenges and philosophical implications of these discoveries are equally profound. The more we learn about the early universe, the more we are forced to confront questions about the nature of existence itself. Did the universe have a purpose, or is it merely a random cosmic accident? Is there an end to the universe, or will it continue to expand indefinitely, ultimately cooling into a vast, dormant void? The possibilities are staggering and each new discovery compels us to rethink not only our place in tea,